boys to men coming into the country and of course into the continent for the very first time right ah, that feels very exciting as well and um, why the need to also partner with Radio Africa as well and I think for me if you don't if they even pay me or doing I'd do this either way yes. <laughs> we all grew up listening to boys to men yes. if we did so it's one of those things that if you it's such a, an honor to be part of something this epic you know, um, they've been in the industry for more than 20 years. Uh, they're still performing. They're amazing musicians, you know. Uh, they have a lot of stage etiquette. To, they're really good performers and very, and very, I think, very unique to watch. So having a group like Boys to Men come to Africa, I think we must first of all thank Radio Africa and, and Stanbeck and uh, Martel upon Ricard for actually bringing this, making this dream come true for many, many Kenyans. You can also show that the Kenyans who grew up, got married using Boys to Men's tunes, Babies were made, as somebody mentioned here. You know, I caused my first wife with a boost to song. You know, so you can see it resonates with me very, very closely to my heart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. And of course, uh, you you mentioned also growing up uh, with boys to men as well, listening to boys to men. Any other memories that you remember? Yeah, I think uh, those were my high school days. So we were very naughty those days, yes. and we'd use some of the lines to to entice <laughs> our counterparts. <laughs> so they thought we were very clever and very smart. Yes. We we'll just get the lyrics of the songs and use that to, to communicate to, you, to, to the girls. So it really helped us move ahead. Yes. yes. That said, what's your favorite Boys to Men song? Um, being a DJ or by having a DJ background, it's a very difficult question to ask, but each, each song has a different part to play, in, especially when, you, when, you, when you're gigging. Yeah. Um, but of course, End of the Road was probably the biggest hit. Though it's not a song I like, but it was a very sad song. <laughs> yeah, um, but the number of tracks, I, I think for me they're just a well-rounded group, and each song has a has a certain time or a certain space in your heart. So I can't just pick one and say, you know what, this was it. No, I just love the group as a whole. Yes. And we can't, you know, wait for them to come through as well. As a, a person who is, uh, you know, preparing to come to the event, what should they expect? I think expect great sound, great lighting. You know, an amazing experience for yes. consumers. So uh, we're working very hard around the clock to ensure that the consumers are very, very safe. And whenever they sit in the venue, whether they're VIP or not, they'll get amazing sound, get a good line of sight of the, of the performances and uh, have a very nice time. Yes. yes. That is something that is very, very important in an event, right? Yeah, of course. I think everyone thinks that uh, VIP gets the best experience. For me, VIP gets, probably gets the worst experience, if you ask me. <laughs> when you're right in the middle of the front, that's where you enjoy the music. But anyway, we've looked at uh, the structure um, of the space. Uh, we've looked at the kind of audience expected. They've been very clear on the kind of decibel levels they want, because some of the songs are very silent, some are very loud. So we have to make sure that that sound is very well spread across the whole arena. So wherever you sit, you can rest assured you'll really enjoy the show. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you very much.